As President Trump whips up anger over illegal immigration, one politician in Montana is trying to counter that. Wilmot Collins arrived as a refugee from Liberia, and a year ago he beat a four-term incumbent to become mayor of Montana's capital city. CGT and Hendrick Sabrandi has more on that. You send in the Wilmot Collins may be the most unique politician Montana has ever seen. Never growing up in Liberia, West Africa, could he have dreamt that one day he'd be in charge of a city in America. People look up to you. People want you to be available to serve them. His path to running Helena, Montana, population 31,000, began when he fled civil war in Liberia on a cargo ship a quarter century ago, together with his wife. When we got to the port, the line to get on board the ship was more than a mile long. It was estimated 10,000 Liberians got on board that vessel. At the initial start of the trip, we didn't even know where we're going. Once out of the country, his wife, who had once been an exchange student in Montana, won a scholarship to go to college in Helena. Collins was granted refugee status to join her. Things just took off, never looked back. He joined the U.S. military. This country offered me and my family a second chance at life. The very least I could do is give back. Collins had always wanted to run for public office. Last year, his son challenged him to follow through. His friends backed him up. That's how we started the ball rolling. And before I knew it, I was knee deep in it. He credits years of community involvement for helping him oust Helena's four-term incumbent mayor and win a spot on this wall of people who've led the city. People really didn't know who this person was, even though he's not, he wasn't born here, but he's a part of this community. So it played a huge role. It played a really big role in people trusting me. And here I am. The Montana gold rush put Helena on the map some 150 years ago. By the late 1800s, it was one of the wealthier cities around. Today, the gold is found in the leaves and funds for city services are at a premium. Which is why, shortly after he took office, Collins asked voters to approve a property tax hike to bolster the Helena Fire Department's budget. We knocked on doors, we did everything, and it passed with 70%. This 55-year-old still works a full-time job in addition to his part-time mayorship. He's not one to sit idle. Busy. <laughs> busy. It's it's amazing how many requests he's gotten. At a time when refugees and immigrants have come under criticism in the U.S., in a state, Montana, where less than half of one percent of residents are African-American, Collins says personal connections have been key to his success. Get to know your people, he says. When they get to know you, all that, 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 that hype and misinformation goes away. My election was evident. Three years remain in Collins' mayoral term to address homelessness and other pressing issues. As for his political future, that may defy prediction, too. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to answer the call of the people. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Helena, Montana.